My granddad was a wise man. He gave me two pieces of advice. A man rich in memories is the wealthiest of all and never lend out your chainsaw. This is the tale of a group of mates who seek this fortune granddad spoke of. Meet Craig Wheezy Davis Murray. The high alpine is his dance floor and this gentleman knows how to tango. Wheezy's first mate, Jamesa Hampton, a bully to anything that considers itself a big mountain lion. Miguel and Nico Porteous. Usually found collecting medals in the halfpipe. These brothers are out of their wheelhouse when it comes to high alpine skiing. Craig and Jamesa were keen to show these pipe jocks a new way to experience the mountain. Their vehicle of choice, Rongo. A purchase that some would look at sideways but underneath the rust and faded paintwork, the young men saw their ultimate dream. Over the course of many months, this bus was carefully transformed to go places far beyond your usual school bus route. An empty checkbook for depositing memories. With the interior fitted, fresh paint, and a ski quiver bigger than your uncle's whiskey collection, this adventure pig was ready to be pointed to the hills. The stage for their maiden voyage? Aotearoa's Highway number 73, the Great Alpine Highway. This beautiful stretch of bitumen joins New Zealand's rugged west coast with the flat plains of the east, dodging and darting amongst the mountain giants. Scattered along the highway are the club fields. Small in size, but big in heart. Pioneered by hard-working rural folks who worked with what they had to get up in the hills. Rugged, rocky, and ever-changing, setting up a ski field in these parts is no easy feat. For a hundred years, these passionate mountain people have been making it happen. With open minds and fresh legs, these four young men were eager to hit the road. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. New Zealand has a funny way of dealing the short straw when it comes to weather. Not ones to sit around waiting for conditions to determine their fun. It was time to get busy. Just like their forefathers, these boys were no strangers to making do with what they had.
Even when the conditions are not playing ball, the locals will always show you a good time. Could get interesting. Some ways along the Great Highway, our travellers found themselves at the gates of Mount White Station. 40,000 hectares of pure high country paradise. Home of Super Shepherd, Derek Douglas Deans, aka Triple D. No stranger to some hard work, Triple D promptly put these sweethearts on horseback in the hope that they were tougher than they looked. After graduating from Triple D's School of Hard Knocks, he agreed to take the townies to his secret backcountry headquarters. Nothing comes for free around here, which came as a shock to those used to riding chairlifts and greasing rails.
The glamorous life of a half-pipe superstar comes with many commitments. It's a big ask to pull the brothers away from their busy schedule of champagne and oysters, and their time had reluctantly come to an end. Rongo pulled over for their last stop and cast the brothers off. Their replacement, an upbeat Manu oh, Bernard. This wee fella packs more punch than your grandma's fruitcake and was revved up for some big mountain lines. Just what was needed to keep Rongo's fire burning. Last on the list, the crown jewel of Highway 73, Temple Basin. When the stars align here, you definitely won't be hitting snooze on your alarm. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, boy. Oh, nice, bro. Good job, oh, man. How you feeling?
Okay, we're well, ready. Turns out old Grandad was right. After two weeks aboard Rongo, the boys had deposited some incredible memories in the bank. His words rung true. They were limping away feeling like the wealthiest men on earth. As for the chainsaw, she's still running as sweet as ever. As I drown my regret and curse the treacherous hand of love, I sing to you with not words, but with love. So many memories of how we used to be. Just you. 